What's up everybody? It's Edit City here back with the tutorial on Twixter for Sony Vegas. I'm in Sony Vegas Pro 13. As you can see I have 14 right here but um, I don't really like to use it as much because there are a few things about 13 that I have set up perfectly. So this is gonna work for 13 or 14 um, and I'll show you all the different ways of how it works and the intricacies of Twixter syncing, which I have not seen any good videos on. I saw one, maybe two that were helpful, but this is completely different from those because I've evolved my Twixter syncing about four to five different times now, and this is the fourth. Even beginners at software can learn because I'm gonna explain it pretty in depth. So um, just kind of stick around and let's hop right into it. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is you wanna go down, you're first of all gonna wanna have Twixter and Twixter Pro. Uh, we're going to be using Twixter Pro, uh, that's the only one I really use. And um, I'm not going to show how to get them because there are a plethora of videos out on the internet about how to get them, however way you're going to do it. But um, so what we're going to do is we're going to just drag on, you guys will not have all these extra ones, these are all my different ones, you're going to drag on the default. And um, I already have um, some, I have best settings right here and uh, I would like for you to just copy this um, we're going to be keyframing this speed but just copy these settings um, it's very simple there's only like two or three things to change so you can do it real quick and then I'm just gonna delete this one because uh, hopefully you guys have copied these settings so first thing you're going to want to do is I, I'm going to turn this off because before any of that you're going to want to mark out your beats with markers and the way you do that is you find the beat um, in the song first of all though you're gonna have your clip, you're gonna take your clip, this happens to be a phantom cam, and I'll show you guys what to do with that, because it takes a couple extra steps, because it's a very slow motion, and Twixter's a little weird on Sony Vegas, so first thing you wanna do is import your clip, and then right away you wanna hit U on the keyboard, you wanna click on the audio, hit U, and you can delete the audio. This is a little audio that I imported for um, the sake of the tutorial, and um, let's see if you can actually hear it. If I pulled it, you want you, you wouldn't like that shit, I put this real out, but you wouldn't. So, um, there's right, that right there, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but you can see the waveforms where I'm going to be placing my markers. Basically what you want to do is you want to go to the waveform, um, to the point where the beat hits or whatever you're syncing to, and, um, I typically make sure it's right on the beat, so when I hit the play button, I hear just about the middle of the beat, if that makes any sense. So let's see if I, I got it right on this one. Yeah, you can hear that it was kind of, it cut off the beginning, it's right in the middle. That's when I hit M on the keyboard and then the enter key um, on the keyboard. And I don't name them because you don't really need to name them first beat, second beat. You just hit M and then enter and that's it. And then you can hit the space bar. And this seems to be the second one for that. And I'm just going to go through and put all the beats down and then you can do the same and you can come right back when you're done. Okay guys, so if you were at your computer or whatever watching this video, maybe you marked out your beats. If not, that's the first step. Just get all your markers on the waveform parts that you want. This is a little audio glitch by the way, just so you know. And this one is maybe a minor one, so I didn't mark those. Just kind of mark every, um, every bass hit and every snare hit. And a snare hit, if you don't know what it is by name, I don't even know if I'm calling it the right thing, but it's the snaps, you know. So you're gonna. Uh, this is the ba the first one's the bass hit, and the second one is the snare hits on these two right here. Two and three. Two is the bass. Three is the snare. So listen to it real quick. You want, you, you Except for the bass is a piano key, but you know what I mean by bass. That shit, I that's more of a bass hit. But the snare, when I refer to snare, that's what I mean is the little snap you, you right there. Shit, I put this real out, but you wouldn't. That's another one. That shit, I type it. That was the two or whatever. So then, make sure you're constantly saving, by the way, I do that often, because my computer sometimes will crash and I don't feel like losing anything, so after you add stuff, always save. So, once you have all your beats marked out, the first thing that I like to do is, um, usually I'd hop into Twixter syncing right away, but what you're going to have to do, because this is a very um, slow motion clip, um, since you can only go to a uh, maximum value of about 300 when you're keyframing the speed in, in Twixter or whatever, it's gonna um, not be fast enough, and if you go anywhere over that, the clip runs out, and it gets you a red screen or a glitch or whatever, and you don't want that. So what you gotta do is you gotta hold down the control key on your keyboard, and then it's gonna come up and say time stretch. And you're gonna drag the end of the clip. I drag it as far as it goes sometimes, and that's gonna be, it's gonna stop right there. And then one thing I like to do is I like to double tap on the audio, and that brings up this thing. This is a very, very helpful tool that I like to use. 
it's the pre-render. So you're going to hold down Shift and B, and then it's going to just automatically just kind of render everything out so you can play it smoothly with smooth playback. If I pulled a U on you, you wouldn't like that shit. I put this reel out, but you wouldn't bite that shit. I type a text. So you can see that it's really fast now since I did that. I'm going to zoom in right here just because it gets rid of the black lines on the side here. And um, so... I did that and it made it really, really fast and it looks like it's not going to be able to sync with the song, but what's nice about Twixter is it adds motion blur and all that other good stuff. So you want to tick on the keyframe for the 100 and this is, make sure this is checked also otherwise you're not going to see it. And I drag this down because all we need to see is that 100 for now. And what I always start off with is I always kind of start off with a fast value of 300 and it might be too fast because I might have sped it up too much, but it's okay because Luckily with Twixter, when you change the speed of the video, the keyframes stay in the exact same spot, unlike Velocity, which stretches or compresses with the video when you change it. And then on every marker, you're going to want to hit that plus button and add a keyframe. And at a certain point here, you're going to see this red screen. Do not worry, just keep on adding your keyframes. It's going to get fixed in a minute. So hopefully you've done this or whatever, or gotten to this point, or see what I'm doing. And I have all the beats, all the markers, uh, placed with 300 keyframes. 300 value so I go to the first one I select this bottom little circle and then you're gonna go to the last one hold down shift and click and that selects all of them right here and you want to change this to fast fade okay and uh, you'll see why in a minute but then go in the in the middle best you can I know some really close beats in other songs they're really close just kind of make it the best you can if anything if you're if you're stuck and it's like an odd number and it's not going directly in the middle always go one more to the right You'd rather have the space between this one and the the slower value. You want that to be closer rather than this to be closer because you want it to be a long, as long as possible for the, uh, for the speed up to slow down. So what you're going to want to do on this in the direct middle of each one is you're going to want to change that to 10, which is really slow, and see how it goes all the way back to there. You want to click on the circle, right click, and click slow fade. And that's what it's going to do, it's going to give you like a little U shape here. And this one doesn't look to be directly in the middle, I didn't get it perfectly in, in the middle. So I'm going to just make it a little, just has to be about in the middle. So what I usually do with this is I usually select it and then copy it. Because this saves a lot of time, I just hit paste it, control V, just paste it in the middle, just about ballparking. If it's really far apart, just you can eyeball it or you might have to see where this one's uneven and I can either go closer to this one or this one always go closer to the second one and then I'm just gonna do this the whole time control V making sure that they're all on the slow fade so as you can see I put one in the direct middle best I could for all these keyframes some of them were odd numbered so they are like this or even whatever so I have it the best I can and you can see for this last one I changed it from um, 300 to 50 because I faded the song out so there was no need for it to go faster but you don't want to have any red um, at the back here because so you can see what it would be like so I would have 300 there you can see I have a red screen and that means that at, up at this frame you can see the video itself the phantom cam fades out and you can see that right there that's the last frame of the video so the blue is warning us being like hey that was the last frame and then the red's like there's no more clip to go on here so as you can kind of see here as I'm gonna play it there's gonna be a lot of glitching and red flashes I don't exactly know what causes this but I do know how to rectify this issue in a number of ways so I'm gonna show you what you might be seeing if everything doesn't align if yours is perfect right now awesome that's perfect just save where you're at you're good um, but if this is happening to you, I'll show you now how to fix this. If I pulled a U on you, you wouldn't like that shit. I put this real out, but you wouldn't bite that shit. I type a text. So you can see the overall sync is good, but there's a lot of glitching frames. There's a lot of red flashes. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to first, the first thing that I always check without having to change all these values around, this thing, mark segment, and it has cut A auto selected. And uh, what you want to do is click cut B, and for whatever reason, when you pre-render again, it makes it, most times, not every single time, it fixes, like, all the glitching and all the red um, screens that are in the middle, at least. If it's at the bot back, the last couple frames or whatever, if you cut the clip too short, it's not going to fix that. But it's see, as you can see through this render, it is fixing all the random glitch frames. And I have to look this up, I don't exactly know what the different cut modes actually mean, but from here I can tell that it rectified our issue. 
and um, sometimes um, if this doesn't work, if cut B doesn't work, you go to cut C, and sometimes that works, and if neither of those work, and you didn't try A, A actually might be the right one. It's all kind of just guess and test, but luckily there's only three of them to choose from. Usually B always works. If I pulled a U on you, you wouldn't like that shit. I put this real out, but you wouldn't bite that shit. I type a text. If you do one, if you have a bunch of different clips, like it's not an NBA clip, you don't, first of all, you don't got to do the stretch thing like I did. That was just because I figured that out and it's definitely helpful. But the overall thing is we got our Twixter sync down. Please smash that like button if you want to see a time remap tutorial with After Effects. Um, I know that's highly requested, but I know this tutorial has been requested and I haven't seen anything, so I wanted to get this out before someone else figures something out. Anyway not done with apps still will be posting app tutorials thank you guys very much for watching um i'll see you guys in the next video and follow my instagram if you want to talk to me more uh it's that, my handle is edit city effects you know all one word obviously no underscores or nothing so go hit me up on there thanks again for watching